may our hotel. This is Asara Setep and Rama. Uh, this says the apocalyptic signs of water turning into blood. Now look, let me explain something to you guys real quick so you can understand what's going on. The people of this earth has been targeted for eradication. The reason being that there has been a system of learning that was demonstrated to the masses on this planet that led them all astray. It, it causes dissension, it causes abuse of women, and it causes the worship of false gods. You have all these melanated people, meaning black people, men and women, walking around this earth who was ordained by the universe to exist as gods and goddesses in the making yet gods and goddesses immature gods and goddesses baby gods and goddesses new introduced gods and goddesses the reason for you being here on earth is so you can have experiences where you can learn consequences of making bad mistakes, rewards of making good gestures, and move on so you can build up a God cognitive and structural manual for you to refer to in all your existences of life or light and any realm of the many realms of time and space. The problem with Earth is that we have had people come here and infiltrate our knowledge system, throw knowledge itself away, and give you knowledge that is not of self, but of some other self that is generated for the sole purpose of putting you in spiritual lockdown, putting you in poverty, and putting you in a state of ignorant existence of self. So now here we got black men who wants to take all of their given God energy inside of themselves and overlook it and turn to the image of a white man who they know has done nothing on this earth but polluted the water, raped all the women, cut the phalluses off of men. All right, you don't hear much about white men cutting off white men dicks, okay? But you hear about them cutting off the black man dick because of their jealousy of the melanin that they know is the God essence of all creation. The white man was not created by our original universal God creator, the sun. The white man was created by the black melanated man who was created by the sun. So the white man is an incomplete entity of no light. He has no light at all. You are going to be a fool to try to find enlightenment inside of that warmonger. Okay, let me get to the point. The apocalyptic signs of water turning into blood is synonymous and corresponding with me making a proclamation to you all that I have been ordained by the universe to come here and to pass judgment on this earth. I see all you people out there that's looking at me like I'm a damn idiot and you all want to keep worshiping Jesus and even believe in your heart that you're going to convert me into believing and following that foolishness. You know what, I just want to let you know something that the only reason why I entertain such ignorance and have time on this earth to even go look into the circumstances of this foolish propaganda it's because I have time to. Because you idiots have not done anything that would be in a type of action reared around your instructions from your creator to build another city for true recipients of true God light to have a dwelling in. No, you guys like this filthy ass world that we live in. You like the Zionists who build all these concentrations. What you really like more than anything is the privileges that you are allowed to have through the worship of white ass Jesus. Now let me explain something to you guys real good. The problem with the world is that black people who subscribe to being Christians really try hard to live up to that creed. The problem is that the people who gave you the Christian religion know that they threw you that as a method of debunking your ass. They threw you that as a method of getting you away from your spiritual, that which encompasses all God energy, 
locking that down, you give it to them by wait, by worshiping them. And so now you see them running around the planet, arrogant as hell, have all the riches, screwing black women. You know, you just pulling your panties off for them like never before. Putting him off, taking him all in your mouth, letting him put it all in places where he ain't supposed to be putting it. This is what he does to throw all the natural beauty of everything off track. He's got to come up with all these sinister, ungodly ways, okay, like war. These motherfuckers walk into war killing each other, praying to their God to help them, assist them in these crimes that the Bible tell you, they own Bible tell you, thou shalt not kill, but then they have the nerves to perpetuate war in the name of their God. The hypocrites, okay? Then they sit there and tell you all the things in the Bible that was based on war and King Solomon and King David, they little faggot white asses, was infallible. So all through the Bible, you read about them doing wicked things, but they're white God forgiving them. So you guys grow up under a belief that there is a God that's going to actually forgive you for doing something wrong. It don't work that way. Because you are your only God. The overall that which encompasses all God. When they made you, when you was created, all the God energy that's necessary for you to do what you need to do, what's encapsulated inside of you. You want to bring your dumb ass out here and take your God privilege away from yourself. Give it to the Zionists who gave you that Jesus bullshit. That's the reason why they run the whole world. That's the reason why you have grown men who cannot get money unless they be criminals. That's why you have grown men who can't respect another grown man. Because their brain is so messed up with this quest for materialism that they think everybody should be judged off of what type of car they have. We should just employ other freaking corporations to get your dumb ass to do everything they want you to do so they can get you paper with their faces on the white ass men faces. They didn't put the women on there. See, this is the biased, racist cracker. And he's gender challenged because he's mad because he don't have a pussy. He can't. He can't see the beauty of God giving him a pussy through the woman. He wants her to be completely pushed out of the picture. And so he's created homosexuality. The Bible even tells you in the last days man will be punished for being lovers of themselves. That's homosexuality. Anytime you have a man so in love with the man gender that he's going to fabricate a fake ass man God without giving the true God is essence of everything is proper seating in the picture. So we're going to get rid of this bitch. We don't even need her. She ain't going to do shit but have children. And that's all. But everything that's good and godly will be encapsulated in a white man. You know, not an Asian man, not a Filipino, not a not an African man. No, we have to be the last Johnny come lately bastards on earth when you can look at all the skin complexions from black to white. And it's obvious to see, wait a minute, this whiteness is a state of degenerate decay of the blackness. You can see that. If you if you took any green ass plant and set it up somewhere and then took a yellow plant, the same species of plant, and put it next to it, any observer of those two plants can say, this plant right here is losing its color because it's a lesser color than the green. But if you take a black man that's really black, dark, and robust, and then you get the albino ass white man and sit him next to it, for some reason, that same observation can't be applied because the white man is God and it doesn't matter that he doesn't have any pigment because they taught us that pigments was a curse that was given to the black people from God and we identify them as the cursed people so it's alright for us to beat them, sodomize them, you know, overwork them, write them out of history and then give us our image to worship as God. And then you got all these dumbass niggas out here that is so materialistic that in order to achieve the car and those dumbass rims and the women who put those wigs on and won't give nobody the time of day unless they possess this materialism, or you got to be an idiot, you know, they don't got nothing going for yourself. You can't be intelligent and walk up to her and say, hello, ma'am, how you doing? And all that. No, you got to come up with your pants sagging off your ass. Talking crazy to her. Yeah, you know, what about you polishing my knob? You know, all that disrespectful talk the women seem to go for. 
But when you're responsible and intelligent and God like, they're not interested in that. You know, they don't they don't care that you keep your body clean. They don't care that you're not indulging in alcohol and cigarette smoking and all that old foolish shit. No, what do they want to see? Does he have on a belt? No, okay. Um, does he have a car? Yeah, he's got rims on it. Yeah, all that stupid shit. And then when you somebody who will make a good father and all that, they don't want to be bothered with you. You know why? Because you hard working, and they think you a pushover because you have a mild manner, like a man is supposed to be. But they want some motherfucker that's gonna be out there all day trying to fuck their friend. That they, they gotta chase down and try to control and and manipulate you into being a responsible man. Them is what the women like. Because she's been taught that she ain't shit. And see, since she doesn't know how to vibrate on her goddess energy, she doesn't have a clue that she's supposed to be out looking for a god energy man. No, what does she want? You sorry ass niggas that's out here and ain't worth shit. Only thing you think make you be something is if you can go out and attain that foolish ass money from the white man. That's never going to be enough. And then your egos be so big and you think you be done accomplished so much when you don't recognize that you could die any minute now. And all this shit that you hold on to that make you think you are somebody, it will stay here and you will go to be judged. And pay, get, give an accountability for all the wicked shit you did to accumulate so much of the foolish ass white man materialism. So the white man has took all the atoms of the earth, including the people. He even split the atoms in half and made them make war on themselves. Anytime you make an atom blow up other atoms, you are a devil. You're not going to tell me you are a god and you're going to sit your ass in line to be the person responsible for creating the atomic bomb. You ain't never seen or heard of no black people doing that. We are so advanced with our God knowledge that we will use the weather itself to kill off you devilish ass white people as you see happening. So what I want you to know is that my name is Asarasa Teparaba. I, I have been sent into this earth to observe the circumstances of it and then to let you understand what my observations of the earth has been. I'm going to tell you right off the top right now. The European white male and female has spread sorrow, tears, and bloodshed all over the earth in their quest to be recognized as God and to live lavish lifestyles. They're in consideration for everything else on the earth. Everything. I'm talking about children, people, insects, birds, trees, soil, water, air. They didn't care. They just fucked everything up. Every, and then wants to still to this day walk around and have people bow down to them and look at them and worship them as if they are God and goddesses and you are not. Okay? I always am in defense of the white female because I can see how she has been victimized by the white male who had no respect of the fact that his bitch ass couldn't even be here if she did not push him out of her vagina. What do they do? They want to come out here and reign themselves supreme over the woman that birthed them. And they taught the validated people who had never had that type of foolishness in their head to think the same way. After they enslaved us and raped and sodomized and butchered and tortured and burnt and everything you can imagine as being horrible and terrifying was all administered to us at these people. All right, at their initiation, at their administration. These are some very wicked ass people. So the universe sent me to let you all know that when you see these fires and these tsunamis and these tornadoes and these hurricanes and when your children start killing your other children and when your woman starts killing you white man more than anything because the spiritual essence is going to get in them and make them attack you because they're going to be enlightened by the sunlight and they're going to see what a wicked bitch you really are.